here in this winner take all game seven here in the Corvallis Regional. Here's the first pitch in there for strike one. The team looks completely different than the way they did Friday. As Bradfield Jr. strikes out to start the ball game. One two got him swinging. Two strikeouts to start this ball game. A one two three inning. Jaron Hunter's got it working in their first game against San Diego. Boy, take some deep to left. Adios. Justin Boyd, a solo home run to start the game for Oregon State, and the Beavers mean business. Up one to nothing. World Series, all of that stuff will come into play here. Breaking ball throws Meckler for strike three. If we know who we are, we always bounce back. Grounder up the middle, second baseman Kolick fields. Two outs here in the bottom of the first. Thing, and sometimes that gets guys into trouble. That ball is hard hit, and that gets past the diving second baseman Kolick. Now that's this, this is huge. There goes Melton. Throw down to second on a hop. Not in time. Here's the payoff. Up the box, shaded by the shortstop. Diaz plays perfectly. And that saves a run for Vanderbilt. Got him with the breaking ball. Third strike out of the ball game for Jaron Hunter. The 3 2. Got him swinging with the changeup. Jaron Hunter's got it working early. His fourth strike out of the ball game against the plate. You still protect against that fastball. That one right there. Oh! Jaron Hunter strikes out the side. The crowd here at Goss letting him know it. Two balls, two strikes on the second baseman. Change up is in there for strike three. And then he threw three innings against San Diego. That one is lined into right. Jones is there. Oh, baby! Using all 6-7 in that frame to lay out and make the catch. So this is a, this is interesting day today. So here's Corvallis weather. Face down too much. You know the way you said that. That came from you. Yeah, <laughs> Got him with the breaking ball. Third strike out of the game for Christian Little. Play. They they want to just know whatever they can do to help out. Love it. Well, Mitch Cannon, thank you so much for joining us. Good luck here in this Game Seven in the Corvallis Regional. Thank you. Appreciate it. That is Davis Diaz, a one-out double for Vanderbilt here in this top of the third. 3-1, grounded to second base. Bazana, sidearms over to first, and that'll do it. Vanderbilt strands a runner at second. Try to stay as loose as possible, have as much fun. Oh, it's coming right at me. This is Justin Boyd, pop up in foul territory, and Keegan makes the catch for the first out here in the bottom of the third. 3-2 pitch, in the dirt. Okay. Wade Meckler, another quality of bat, earns himself a walk. Missed him outside, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks here in this bottom of the third. And Little, hammered to center field. Bradfield Jr. ranging over, oh, makes the catch on the run. Can Bradfield Jr. cover some ground out in center or what? <laughs> Oh, man, we've been talking so much about the offense at the top of the lineup. The payoff pitch, runners go, got him swinging. Big pitch by Christian Little. His fourth strike out of the ball game. He gives Vanderbilt three innings strong. Three balls, two strikes. Missed him upstairs, ball four. Hot bat is on deck. Three, two. Off the end of the bat, did he get all of it to right at the wall? Adios! Spencer Jones, his third home run here in this Corvallis Regional. A two-run home run, and Vanderbilt now takes a 2-1 lead here in the top of the fourth. Green won the count on Keegan. This is inside for ball four, second walk here in this inning. Two on Calvin Hewitt. Got him swinging. So the runner from first will go down to second on the ball that got past Gavin Logan as Hewitt strikes out for the second time today. 3-0. 
And he loses them. Four straight balls as Bolger gets the two-out walk. Just sticks the bat out, does Diaz. Dernetti at short fields and makes the play at first. So Vanderbilt strands two runners. They take a two to one lead. Don't want to change how you swing. Fly ball, center field. Bradfield Jr. going back at the warning check. Oh! What a catch! Enrique Bradfield Jr. Welcome to Sports Center. Come on! 0 for his last seven, but when you can take away outs like that, there's a long fly ball to left. Hewitt, with the left fielder, will play it off the wall. That 14-foot high wall and left, the throw coming to second, not in time. So Jake Ducart with a one-out double here in the bottom of the fourth. Throw him out at the plate. Well, they'll have a chance here, up the middle. Bradfield Jr. no throw as Ducart will score off the RBI single by Kyle Dernetti and we are all tied at two apiece. <laughs> Foul off. Fastball. Caught it short by Diaz and that'll end the threat. And he walks him. There he goes, the 0-1, throw down to second, not in time. Enrique Bradfield Jr. is perfect on stolen bases this year, 45 of 45. The 1-1, shows bunt and that one hits him. Got him swinging with the breaking ball. There goes Bradfield Jr. They throw down to second behind him, and Vaz kicks the ball away. Bradfield Jr. is coming home. Here comes a throw. It gets by the catcher. Look at what Speed does on the base paths as Vanderbilt takes a run. They take a 3-2 lead. 1-2. Got him with the changeup again. But Vanderbilt picks up the run. You know, you, you shared that. Forrester, slow roller down the line at third, charging his no land. Look at the head first slide from Forrester. He wants this game seven. Fly ball, left center field. Bradfield Jr. at the wall. It's out of here. Jacob Melton with a two run home run. What a way to break out of the slump. And Oregon State retakes the lead. Jacob Melton, welcome back. Three, two, left that one upstairs. Poppy Pellet. Stroked into right field. That one will fall in for Ducart. Stopping at second is Logan. So first and second with two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Here's Matthew Gretler. And that hit him on the shoulder. All Corvallis Regional. Spanked it up the middle. That one's going to drop down in the center. One run comes in. Here's the throw. Not in time. A two RBI single for Kyle Dernetti. And Oregon State takes a 6 3 lead. Here, here's the 3 2. Got him swinging with a breaking ball. 3 2 pitch. Misses down. Absolutely back there. That ball is lined into left field that will drop in front of Meckler in left. So Diaz has his second hit of the ball. Three balls on a strike to count on Colwick. Grounder to short. This is Dernet and he boots it. Rounding third is Nolan. He will score on the E6 by Kyle Dernetti. He was the hero in the bottom half of the fifth inning. And now you can't believe it. They're on the mound. The 1-0. Lined into left, and that one's going to drop. Another run will score. In comes Diaz. And that error is now costly. Two runs have come across in this inning. Breaking ball in there. Strike three. Huge strikeout for Reed Sebi.
keeps going. You got Spencer Jones at the plate for Vanderbilt. That could have been really quick. Ground ball right side. Second baseman Colwick bobbles it. Oh, buddy. Fly ball, right field. Jones, the right fielder, camping out and will make the catch. So Oregon State cannot make Vanderbilt pay with that error. And that just gets out of the reach of Dornetti at short. So second hit of the game for Spencer Jones. He leads off the runner stays put and he misses ball four. Showing bunt. Puts it down the third base side. Quality bunt. Only play is at first. And Gretler does get the out. The one two. Shallow fly ball, right field. Boyd is there. Runner tags. They're going to send him. The throw coming in. Not in time. Spencer Jones slides in underneath the tag. And we are all tied at six apiece. And let's see what they say on the field. It is confirmed. Safe at home is Spencer Jones. 3-2 pitch. Got him swinging. 2-2 pitch by Moore. Grounded to the right side. Backhanded at first by Keegan. Flips to the pitcher. One down. In runners bunt him over. Well hit. Left field. Back at the wall. Adios! Matthew Kretler, a solo home run for Oregon State. And the Beavers retake the lead here in the bottom of the seventh. 7-6 ball game. Call Kyle Dernetti. Rounded into the hole at short. Backhanded by Diaz. Here's the throw. Not in time. Not gonna get Dernetti. The 2-0. Well hit. That one will get down into right. Dernetti will hold at second. Run it to hot bat. 3-1 bounces it. Uh-oh. Bases loaded. Bottom of the seventh. The 1-2. Swung on a miss, strike three. Ryan Ginther comes up in a huge spot for Vanderbilt. Between innings, this crowd here at Goss Stadium got excited. That's because Friday night starter Cooper Jerpy has come back on, and he will come in in relief for Oregon State here in this top of the eighth inning. Occasionally, he could be tired. Strikeout to start this top of the eighth. Bradfield Jr., the pitch. Got him looking as Jerpy strikes out the side. Back in the fourth inning by Bradfield Jr. Oh, and that one hits him in the back. Slow grounded to second, no chance to get two. They get the out at first. Oh, two down the heart of the plate, strike three. All right, here we go. Three, two. Fastball misses, and Vanderbilt has their leadoff runner on. 2-1. Fastball, a nubbler back to the pitcher. Looks at second, but throws to first as Jerpy gets the sure out. 30th pitch on in relief. Got him with the breaking ball! So Vanderbilt down to their final out of the season, and they will go to the bench. Pinch hitter Matthew Polk will step up to the plate. One ball, two strikes to count. Here comes Jerpy. Got him swinging, and that'll do it. Oregon State will move on to the Super Regionals. A 7-6 win over Vanderbilt.